Hey there, uh, Coin Metallurgist here, and here are my uh, garage sale pickups from uh, this Memorial Day weekend. Um, it was uh, pretty rainy on Friday, so I didn't uh, go out at all. I went and did uh, real work, um, and then I I went out on Saturday, but I had my uh, wife and baby with me, so I didn't get to nearly as many garage sales as, as I would have if I was all by myself, um, and I'm wondering if maybe people will have garage sales on Monday, uh, Memorial Day. Um, not really sure if that's something people normally do or not. Any of you guys know uh, if that's something that typically happens or not? Um, a lot of what I've got here is uh, jewelry. Um, maybe uh, go through this somewhat chronologically in the order that I got it in. Um, the first thing I got was this little cross that's labeled 925, like right there in the middle. And I think it's labeled on this ring somewhere too in, on the inside, but pretty hard to see if it's there. Um, uh, I actually got that for free. And the second thing I got was actually for free too. Um, this was at an estate sale, all kinds of stuff. Um, it's marked right there on the back. And on here, all of these silver things, um, I've checked them to see if they're magnetic already, um, but I haven't uh, scratch tested them yet. I'm not sure if it's even worth my time to do on every single little piece. Um, I actually got that for free as well. Um, I had There was this one really, really good garage sale um, where this guy had all kinds of good stuff that I enjoyed. And I got all of this stuff there. So I got these two silver plate uh, knives for quarter each. Um, I actually bought everything together so I didn't necessarily pay what he asked for but I paid almost what he was asking for everything. I got a little ruler. I lost the one I had. I needed one of those. Um, I got a bunch of tax tokens. Um, I divided them into two bags of ones that I didn't have yet ones that were duplicates. Um, he was asking $10 for all of them, labeled right here. Uh, I'll make another video uh, going through these to show you what's in here, because this is probably the most exciting thing I got. I don't think these are probably really worth all that much of anything, um, but I didn't really have that many tax tokens or any tax tokens at all until a little while ago. Um, I got some old Colorado tax tokens from my grandma. Um, and so I thought those were pretty neat, and I saw these, and I thought, well, I might as well buy them. I do uh, really enjoy collecting coins, so all these ones that are unique uh, that I don't have yet, I'll um, card and put in a binder. Um, but I'll make another video showing you those along with uh, this coin that's pretty hammered. Um, I also got a whole bunch of little, uh, like, pewter figures. These are mostly about 10 cents a piece. Um, I didn't pay, paid maybe half that for them, five cents a piece. Um, I think they're mostly from Seenit. Um, I use them for Monopoly, is what I will use them for. Um, there's some Harry Potter ones. I think these ones right here are from Simpsons Monopoly. Um, some of them, you know, that are still in packs. Those ones are from Monopoly, I guess. Um, but I just enjoy to have all kinds of different types of characters to play for Monopoly or whatever. So I just keep, I'll just keep them in this box and probably add some more to it that I already have. Um, you know, for how cheap they were, I couldn't pass that up. Um, some some pretty cool stuff from there. Um, and then a couple other purchases here. Two different pairs of earrings um, that are all marked silver here, marked 925 mostly. Get them untangled. Um, you should try to get uh, silver earrings for about a quarter a piece. These ones are marked right there. Um, these are actually a, a pretty heavy pair. It's a pretty good buy for a quarter there. And these ones. Uh, are probably not worth much more than the quarter because I'm not sure this 
part up here is marked. This isn't, so I think all of the metal in here is probably silver, but I'm not sure or if it's just that or any of it really is. Um, I'll have to do some testing there. That probably wasn't too valuable. Um, I got this here for a quarter. The, uh, so I think it's a bracelet. The little heart pendants marked 925. Um, the bracelet itself is not necessarily marked, but I will test it. It looks silver, so I think it's all silver. Um, I have one little thing that I'm not seeing here. There it is. So this is, uh, I paid 50 cents for this little fish earring that's marked 925. Uh, this little, these navy pins. I think that's for maybe like a, a tie or something with the two of them connected. Um, these are Mark Say Sterling on the back of each of them. They, they must have been coated in gold or something because they don't look sterling at all. Um... But, you know, maybe those even have some collector's value where it's the Navy. And then this pretty terrible, um, with like, pit corrosion there, uh, silver plate knife. All this for 50 cents. So, I, I mean, that was a pretty terrible purchase, but I couldn't get it to go any lower. And I didn't want to leave this stuff there, so I took it. Um, where I went, where I got these, uh, it was pretty late in the day today. Um... And I'm fairly confident if I would have got there early in the morning, I would have got all kinds of great stuff. Because she was telling me she, how there were just piles of jewelry and people have been looking through it all day. So it's like, ah, oh, I should have got there early in the day. Um, one of the last places I went, I got two necklaces. Um, paid four bucks for the two of them. Um, he had all kinds of jewelry that I think he was saying was his aunt's. They're marked all over them. So it's upside down, but it says Sterling 925. It says it on the other end somewhere. Um, marked all over it. Both earrings are marked on the back, and the, the little connecting piece is also marked 925 Sterling. They must be like a electroplated in gold or at least gold colored um so it doesn't look like a very good plating um so i'm hoping that's real you know for two bucks not sure exactly how much that weighs but that's a pretty good buy there um this other one is quite a bit heavier quite a bit this is probably two ounces of silver almost here at least one and a half um and it's marked 925 But it's also marked uh, Mexico, which um, Thailand and Mexico are always suspicious to me. Um, so I'm a little worried it's not silver, but um, it looks it looks to be real. Um, no indication that it's not. I don't see any places where it's like plating having come off. I'm not sure what this says here at the bottom here. If any of you can read that and let me know what that says, that would be awesome. But I I can't read it, and so I doubt on the video you'll be able to read it either. But, um, so as far as silver goes, um, not a whole lot, but, you know, not bad. Um, and like I said, I'll make another video showing you these tax tokens, because I think that's one of the, the most interesting things that I bought today. Um, but I hope you enjoyed. Um, if you did, um, feel free to like the video down below. Uh, if you need comments or questions, please make those. And if you want to see more videos like this and other uh, coin-related videos, please subscribe to my channel. Thanks.